All right, good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Atchison County Commission meeting for Tuesday, August 20th. I'd like to call the meeting to order. If you please stand and join Mr. Hormode for our invocation. Thank you for inviting me here this morning. I wonder if you stayed up last night watching the politicians on television last night. I would tell you that I did, and I'm kind of excited about what I heard last night. And I want to talk about that for a minute and come to a scripture that relates to that. What I heard last night was praise after praise after praise for a man, even a man praising himself for what he's done. He never thanked the Lord for what he has accomplished or what he's been put in position to do. It was all about him. I'm reminded of a king named Herod that's in the 12th chapter of the book of Acts who people were praising him greatly and he praised himself and Acts records that an angel of the Lord struck him with worms. The secular historian Josephus said when Herod got sick, he died of worms in five days. Uh, we heard maybe something like that last night. I even heard Christian principles that being cited, that uh, a principle that Moses taught that's in the book of Deuteronomy that says everyone should give according to their ability to give. I heard it twisted so much last night that it said, we think some are more equal than others. Therefore, they should pay a higher tax. Not everybody's created equal is the principle that I heard being announced last night. I'm kind of excited about that because that's so much different than what I read in Psalm number two. Listen to these words from the second Psalm. Why are the nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. But the one who rules in heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger, he rebukes them, terrifying them with his fierce fury. For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem on my holy hill. The king proclaims the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Only ask and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. The whole earth as your possessions. You will break them with an iron rod and smash them like clay pot pots. Now then, you kings, act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fervent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry, and you will be destroyed in the midst of your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant. But what a joy for all who take refuge in him. Bow with me in prayer, please. <clears throat> Father, I pray for the commissioners here today that they will remember that you have called them to this place and to this work and this time. I pray, Father, that they will honor you with the decisions that they make. I pray that you will be centermost in, in our continual thinking because you are the one in charge. Thank you, Father, that you have created us and thank you that you have given us the opportunity to make choices for ourselves. I pray, Father, that we will continually make the choice to follow you, that we will exalt you and honor and glorify you above every other thing, every other person, every other institution. In our Lord Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, public comment. Seeing none, um, we will approve the minutes for last week, uh, next week. Um, Commissioner comments, Commissioner Rebus? Uh, I don't think I have any today. Okay. I don't have anything. I don't either. Uh, new business. We have Mark Ziltner, finance director with the second half county appropriations and a purchase order approval. <clears throat> I could pass it around. I was going to give it to Jody. I don't know where that. 
hangs up. Um, it's it's actually in the closet there. Okay. Um, we're not for sure where you guys wanted to put that, but yeah, we can add it to the the rung. Okay. So these are the second half of the 2024 county appropriations. Um, we the larger appropriations I like to split in half um, because we uh, the taxes there's more money that come in at the second half so we don't have to all pay them out at the first half at the beginning of the year so there's a purchase order for every one of them um, this one's to achievement services for twenty four thousand you okay. want me to just read them all or just hand them to you or? Uh, let's just do them individually okay. really quick. Sounds that great. Works. So I'd look for a motion to approve the purchase order to achievement services out of county general for 24000 It's for the second half of the 2024 county appropriation, which the total amount was 48000 Do you have a motion to approve? Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Now you read them so well. Oh, thanks. On on these, if there's taxes that are outstanding, are there? Do they get their full appropriation, or do they? They do get, get the full appropriation. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I was thinking on some departments, don't they have to take a less amount because until that is paid, until the like back taxes are paid. Mm. I was thinking that. Do we have appropriations that haven't? I guess I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, that happened? I was thinking uh, that there was... It, it happens <laughs> if it's a, a different taxing entity, like a, a, a cemetery or something like that. They just get their mill levy. And so if people don't pay, we don't make up the difference. Oh, I see. That's so, what... So they just get the amount that is actually paid by the... So you're talking about extension? Because no, it's a not, mill, not its extension. Own mill? It is. Yeah, so that would be the only one that, right? Mm -hmm. That would have its own mill. Okay. Out of all these, yeah. That would be from the ones that had them. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I just seen that the full figure there, so it's kind of like it was triggering something. I think about seven, eight years ago, that used to happen frequently, um, because we would only give them because so many of them had their own fund, and um, we could only pay them what they had. Okay. We couldn't put them in the negatives. So yeah. We could only pay them what they had. So some of them didn't get their hundred percent, but it was all very close. So and now they're under the general. Now they're under general. So support. maybe that's what it's okay. The yes. old stuff coming back. Yeah. yeah. So they also to to piggyback on what Michelle said in the county workbook that the state builds, if um if there is something like that occurs, such as the extension council is the only one in these, um if when we do the county workbook and we plug in how much taxes are needed, that one hundred sixty eight thousand and some change. Um, that's that's saying how much we're going to give them. If for any reason, because we have to put in two years prior, two years numbers prior to, to the current year. So it looks at how much was collected in each of those years. So if there's delinquency where there's not enough collected to say what we're going to pay out, it adds in more by itself to make up the difference. Oh. So from year to year, it changes. So you may say you want to levy 168,000, it might be 169 or 160, depending on whatever it is. So it changes itself. Kind of an income averaging thing. type thing. Yeah. So we won't have to have That's a worry about I never it. Because yeah. okay. it, it adds it up and yeah. Okay. And levy is the correct amount? Yeah. Interesting. So if we collect more for next year, we would Not levy less the following year Okay. or vice versa. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, it all it does its adjustment at the end when we're done. So, um, and that's come kind of comes into when Michelle does the the November valuations. It also takes that into consideration as well. Um, the second one is to the Atchison County Conservation District um, for fifteen thousand seven hundred and fifty nine dollars. Okay, I'd like to look for a motion uh, to approve purchase order as presented by our finance director. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. And these will 
probably be entered for payment around the September 4th accounts payable. So not, not next week, but the week after. <laughs> Uh, the third one is to the Extension Council for $84,267. For motion to approve uh, the purchase order as presented by the finance. Group. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. <laughs> Um, the next one is to Northeast Kansas Multi-County Health Department for $40,000 even. For a motion to approve the purchase order as presented by the finance director. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 The next one is to Project Concern for $62,500. I look for a motion to approve this purchase order for Project Concern as presented by the Finance Director. Two minutes. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to six. This um, there's two here to the guidance center, but this first one is to the guidance center um, for the regional crisis center for five thousand dollars even. For a motion to approve the purchase order as presented by the finance director uh, for the crisis stabilization center to the guidance center. So moved. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. And then this one's also to the guidance center, but for the mental health portion of $25,000 even. The promotion to approve the purchase order is presented from the finance director uh, for the appropriation to the guidance center for mental health. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Next on the agenda is Road and Bridge. Um, Joe's not here today, so he asked me if I could do his purchase orders. Yep. Is that okay to yeah. move to that? Next. Yep. Okay. I don't I think he sent an email to you guys, but yeah. this this first one um, <clears throat> is to be paid out of that leftover allocation that we sent to Road and Bridge. It's to Dylan Tire for truck 77 Bridgestone tires in the amount of $2,598.48. You're referring to part of the ARPA allocation? Correct. Yeah. But we already have, but Right. We're just spending right. down, spending that down his, yeah. yeah, correct. Okay. I look for a motion to approve the purchase order to Dylan Tire as presented by our finance director in the amount of $2,598.48. So move. Second. Um, Real quick discussion. Did they tell it? Did he? Oh, it's behind here. Never mind. It's for two. I was just wondering the quantity oh, okay. of it then. But um, okay, so it's been seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. The ones for the back, though. Um, this was the equipment, wasn't it? The road grader? Yeah, it's truck 77. Yeah. But I don't and it's for yeah. two tires. Okay. And they're 20 yeah. five, so that would be that's a, a heavy truck. truck. Yeah. yeah. The mates with tires got no two. Oh, tires are horrible. Mm. I had about two steps within about two months. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this front tractor tires are about three hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. The back is a little more. Oh, three thousand. <laughs> um, this next one is to Pruitt Construction. 
Um, it's the final invoice for Colbert and Low Water Crossing at 250th for 61,276.65. Look for a motion to approve the purchase order as presented by our finance director to crew at construction um, for the final invoice for Colbert at Low Water Crossing 250th. Um, and for the amount of 61276 So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Absence. Three for zero. This next one is to Vance Brothers um, for Durapatch Oil. There's several invoices um, and they look to be all two different road segments um, like Bourbon and 262nd or Ottawa and 230th. So it looks like they've ordered multiple times um, because they needed more. So. Uh, we made one purchase order for all of the different invoices. So it's Devance Brothers for Durapatch Oil in the amount of one hundred six thousand five hundred and fourteen oh nine. This might be. I'm not sure if you know the process. I was trying to remember. We send our tank down, correct? And get it filled. So. I don't know. No, they, I, they brought tanks that says up. they was delivered. Yeah, on those they, they, they then, then yeah, we we take off. We don't want any more than we can use during that day. Right. Oh, okay. So that's why there's multiple trips, yeah. multiple days. Right. Right. So yeah, yeah. and between that one day and changed it to two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did we? You? I felt like we used to send our something. They, we do both. Okay. We have done. Both. Sometimes we'll send a truck, and sometimes. I think if there's, uh, especially later in the fall when we're just doing patching, we can send a truck down to get it because we got the time. Oh. They don't usually start first thing in the morning. Gotcha. But when they're doing wanting to get a full day in, the truck's waiting there at eight. They come in, yeah. and yeah. that day that you're speaking of, it rained or had some sprinkles, so they had to start later that day. Yeah. And I think that was last Monday, mm -hmm. and so they were just going to figure on getting two loads. They, yeah started later so and it would bring a bigger load than we could haul in our truck so they could bring it up and we could keep rolling so it makes sense i don't know what the delivery fee cost is but it's it's, it's over 500 dollars a pop well, by time, each time by the time we get a bigger truck and we pay a guy to go down and get it and make trips and it was the time in between we'd have to have two trucks uh, for i think that makes it work <laughs> it'd be interesting to see a cost analysis because like i think i just gave it to you no, I mean, they're sending multiple. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I pay freight on things. That was the business I used to be in. I don't know. That just seems yeah. you want to look at it before we. Did we I mean, you we have... and maybe that's uh, something we talk about. Ooh. Maybe getting a uh, RP on get a lock price where maybe we can negotiate a little bit less. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. It's closer to the plant, it would help. Mm. <laughs> or a storage. I mean, I don't know there what yeah. what the options are, but it'd be nice to just get creative and look at because that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, if you're yeah, you in, that's right. I mean, I'll have to. Yeah. I'll do one more about it before we're right now. It's a done deal now. Okay. What was so, the total again? Um, one hundred six thousand five hundred fourteen dollars and nine cents. All right. So I look for a motion to approve the purchase order to Vance Brothers out of ARPA funds for one hundred six thousand five hundred fourteen dollars and nine cents. I have a motion to so approve. Moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes. My understanding is all the shipping seals are done now. Is that right? Do you know? I don't know that. Okay. I think it should be, but maybe it's a little bit enough, but I think it should be based on what you said before. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I was out last week and then it all happened. Yeah, weather delayed him a little bit. So. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have for the purchase orders. And I think someone else was going to cover the next topic. I don't know if that was Pat or. On the. 214th and Lincoln? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The, uh, there was a, uh, I don't know how much background you want, but um, it used to be the case that it was the county's responsibility to put up all of the uh, regulatory road signs on township roads uh, that, that is stop signs, speed limit signs, et cetera. There was a Kansas Supreme Court case several years ago where someone had sued because of a lack of a regulatory sign and the Supreme Court found that the county was not responsible and in response to that the legislature amended the statute to make clear that townships do have the responsibility to put up regulatory signs regulatory signs like signs that you can get a ticket for disobeying um, stop signs, speed limit signs, no parking, things like that. Um, and so this uh, this intersection at two, two four, what is it, 214th two two and, Lincoln. and Lincoln, both of those roads are township roads. Um, and Joe had uh, reached out to, uh, to LTAP about it and they sent an engineer up and looked through it and came up with a, a study and recommendations and I think you were provided with a copy of that mm -hmm. and then also had a discussion with me and did a little research and kind of figured that's not I push comes to shove you probably don't have the authority to place a sign there or to order a sign there but it's uh, township's responsibility now and so my suggestion is to uh, send the uh, uh, the report that's been generated to the township and let them know this is what's been suggested and to make the recommendation to them that they do what they think is appropriate to, to fix it. So, what township was that? Center. Which is center, center, yeah. I'm glad you knew that because I wasn't. I was going to guess center. center. It seems center. like it would be center. Yeah. And they've been involved in the conversation from the beginning when the constituent brought it to our attention so that's the one that we've been talking about that's bad sight line yeah okay. yeah that's what i thought but yeah it's an unusual intersection so may i ask a question in the future does the county need any involvement then or does the township have the authority to contact LTAP themselves and do the investigation, I guess. I think they probably could contact them directly. Uh, Joe might have better or more resources or phone numbers to call and you know, a bigger Rolodex, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I think they could probably reach out on their own. Okay, so the county wouldn't need to be involved in, in that as long as right. it's both township roads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Nelda is the one that presented at the township meeting and gave them all her contacts, so yeah. they should all have. Yeah, I was going to say she was there. And she's so. who did the, yeah. who came up and met with, with him, so. I wonder why they never oh, made a roundabout there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so Joe's going to send it to them? Uh or you're going to send it to them? Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I didn't realize this was on the agenda today, but uh, I had talked to him about notifying the uh, the township back. We didn't have a discussion about who was going to do it. Okay. So I'll, I'll make sure with him, I'll probably just draft something for him to send. So it seems to yeah. be the easiest because then if they have questions, if they ask you back to me, I'm probably not going to need the answer. Will you just have them um, carbon copy you and I on it so we know it's done? Because, I mean, I they've had me on the correspondence from the very beginning, and then I can just know it's done. If anybody asks, like, well, it was sent to you on, you know, just the, it's closed. So that'd be great. And I have their emails if you need them. I can send them to you for all three of the board members. Steve, so, Adam, and Colin. I'll ask you kind of a sideways question here so but the fact you've had this study done now 
So if the township says, well, thank you very much, it's over on the shelf, we don't want to do it. Is there any incurred liability on their part of the city's or the county's part versus if, we, if nothing has changed at the intersection? I think well, on that, you're asking two questions. I know. Um, <laughs> is there liability on the county if nothing's done? No. Um, and that was the per that was really the uh, uh, the result of the Supreme Court decision. Uh, that doesn't mean the city, the county wouldn't be involved in a lawsuit if there was one. Uh, but uh, I, I think we'd be protected by the Kansas Court Claims Act on it. Uh, it would be a discretionary function um, for the township on which choice to take, but I don't think they have the freedom to just say we're not going to do anything. Okay. Um, but they don't necessarily have to do what was suggested. So is okay. it? So is it? Yeah. It's an uncontrolled intersection now. Is that right? Um, it's two ways. It's two ways. Two ways. Okay. Uh, and they're, they've suggested four ways. Um, I, I don't know if there would be liability if they decided to keep it that way, but they're more familiar with it. I'd say right. let's just give them the opportunity to think it through and decide what they think is best. And that's probably, I think, all we can do. Because if you're not happy with the decision they make, you don't have any authority over them to right. make them change it. Okay, thank you. Is that, you're good? That's that's all I have, yeah. Okay, so we're ahead of schedule, but um, next on the agenda is per Commissioner Knoll's request. Um, it says toll, but it's a tow, tow service mm -hmm. um, contracts. Okay. Well, this is just kind of a general conversation because uh, I guess it was about three and a half months ago when we rescinded the resolution that named the two uh, uh, two companies uh, that were on call for uh, services, uh, their services via uh, dispatch. And at the time, I was a little concerned that we weren't going to consider creating a new resolution, naming the, the the new business that was interested in partaking of being in on that too. So it's now it's been three and a half months later and it hasn't happened. I mean, basically running without anything. The I've seen emails from the, the new company saying what's taken so long. So I there was there was a few things said in those emails. One was that I I didn't like, I guess the tenor of it was the, they said, well, someone may occur the wrath of the two existing uh, tow companies by adding another one because they're going to do less business. Well, I didn't think that was a, a prerequisite that, that they dictate that no one else will ever get in on county business. I thought that was a poor choice of, of, uh, uh, wording or even, um, you know, it's it's like we make the decisions or it's made the decisions on what's good for the county, not that current clients are telling us that they don't want anybody else involved. So that was one thing I didn't like. And, and then it also said that uh, it was evident that the commissioners didn't want any, um, their hands on it. Basically, we were washing our hands of that, and it was going to be in someone else's hands. Well, I had concerns three and a half months ago, and I think maybe it's we ought to reconsider making it into resolution form. So I just thought I'd bring it up for uh, discussion again to see. Um, I I have no stake in the game because I don't know the new company. I don't have any business i've never done business with any of them so i have no that it's a, a friend or crony of mine or any of, of any of them so I, I just kind of wondered why it took three and a half why it's taking this long if it's waiting on contracts or or is i couldn't exactly tell by those emails whether the new company was going to be offered a contract or whether so maybe Pat, maybe you can tell me a little bit more on that end of it. Well, there there was not any pushback from either 
express express lube and rns are the two that have record services established in the city that have been on the, the backing up even further um, dispatch has two lists a list for co for record services within the city of atchison and outside the city of atchison and that's the list if there's an accident and there's either not a an owner available, like if the owner is injured and is removed to uh, by ambulance and the vehicle's left there, what do we do with it? Or if uh, a, an unattended vehicle is struck and is needs to be moved or uh, the situation where an owner is there but doesn't express any preference on who they want to do the tow, um, then they go to a list, a predetermined list. So anytime that somebody's involved in an accident and uh, they're given the choice of what record service they want to use if the vehicle needs to be towed. Uh, but if there is no preference or there's no one there to state a preference, uh, the dispatch has a list uh, that they use on a rotating week by week basis. And that was for many years, just two companies. And so you're on one week and off a week. And if somebody was going to be on vacation, I guess they could organize that with each other, but that very rarely happened apparently. Um, when, when this came up, um, I talked with the sheriff and we talked about trying to get, trying to figure out what the standards were uh, for example, we would always want to have the services insured. Well, those are both companies that I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure that they already maintain insurance. Um, so um, I I reached out to the two of them that were already on the list, and we got some uh, kind of talked about what they were doing to make sure that we had all of those things included in a draft of an agreement and also that we weren't imposing some standard that would like look fair and sound fair but wasn't fair only one of them could meet or that you know possibly an outside uh, someone else that was interested in being on the list couldn't meet um, and then we came up with a uh, with a draft of an agreement we circulated that to um, with the city and we just Jack and I discussed it and then it, it came back that the uh, the city wasn't interested in being part of that agreement they have a an ordinance on record services that has their standards of what they want and they the, the chief of police felt that their interests were adequately protected by that. Uh, by that ordinance, and so they didn't want to be part of the uh, uh, of an agreement. And so we re I redrafted the agreement. It didn't take very long to uh, once I got started with that redraft to to make the change, but it took a while before I started on the redraft of it. Um, after it was redrafted, I did send it out to all three of the expected record respondents to uh, the, the three companies that we thought would be interested in providing record services, uh, but have not yet had any response. But that was sent out very recently, yesterday. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm not sure I'd expect a response this quickly, but uh, it was sent out to all three of them um, and to the sheriff. So. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm good had gotten some of those emails that were circulating and that was just uh, that it's three and a half months i you know that's the reason i put it on here i had no beef other than it just seemed like it's been uh quite a while and then it's like well if i guess if it's pending i i i'm okay with that i was just you know when the error when we've been as the commissioners trying to send out RFPs and include local businesses and and everything on other contracts throughout the county. And I was just kind of worried that this was maybe being handled a different way. So 
it's kind of my thought process on this. Just curious, you know, um, there's been a couple of times that they've had the um, the, the big records in, like the semis and heavy equipment. They mm -hmm. come out of Platte City, so is that a separate list they call or? Um, no, I don't think they have a list for that. The, okay. the two that I talked to said that by administrative rule, they can't go above, and I'm probably getting the weight wrong, but I'm thinking it was 12,000 pounds if what they're towing is bigger than that. They're right. not licensed yeah. for it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, okay. and, and that they weren't, neither of them were interested in providing those yeah, and those are monsters, those semi wreck trucks. Yeah, wow. We made a dump truck turn over behind my house, and they're doing it over my house, and they had two of those guys out of Platt City kill those big records to get turned over. It's pretty wild. Yeah. So okay. they, they had a limit to what they yeah. would do. Yeah. So apparently they have access to call because they must be, they've got really called them in, so I've seen them before. So, yeah. Okay. And, and also, I would think the bigger. The drivers yeah. of the big trucks are probably more likely to know who they want to be their tow than yeah. right. Right. you or I. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd have any idea who to call or yeah, I know both of those names. Those are those names. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly it's going forward right now. It it is. Okay. Yeah. But, and and we didn't talk about the reason for having any sort of standard is you don't want surprises for people who don't really have a say and you know they don't have the opportunity maybe even to do research about how should I what's the most efficient way to do this tow uh, you don't want surprises for them with the bill you don't want one vendor charging a thousand dollars to do the tow and another charging a hundred dollars to do the tow and just say well I'm sorry you Got the short end of that stick. So you want to have some uniformity in the services mm -hmm. that they provide and the costs. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, they're not going to have to drive to Topeka to get their vehicle or to get the stuff out of their vehicle. You, you want that to be within the place proximity and those sorts of things. And that's what's addressed within the agreement. Yeah, I hadn't heard of anything that would knock them out of contention. So, you know, it's kind of like, okay, well, that's not the the hangout. So um, I didn't send the draft of the agreement to you. I could send it to the three of you if you're interested in. I don't know if I get anything if you want to, sure. Go ahead. I don't really need a copy. Okay. Yeah, I'll send it. I'll send it to the commissioner. Okay. If you want copy. Thank you. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so next on the agenda is an executive session scheduled, so we'll move on beyond that. Michelle, are you okay to do the sports complex? I, yes. just, put, you know, I just put the copies in there. Um, we did get both, um, I don't say up, and UFD 377's sports maintenance request, and I put that with the name. Perfect. Okay, so I would look for a motion to allow the chair to sign um, the written request for management and operating reserve fund um, third quarter maintenance for USD 377 in the amount of $2,500 and for ASAF and Atchison in the amount of $10,000. So the total amount to be paid from this fund is $12,500 for the third quarter maintenance and operating payments. So much. I'm second. All right, moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 So three to zero. You know, moving forward, is it necessary to vote on that necessarily? If it's a contracted amount and it's kind of a routine budget item, I mean, I believe it is your option to pay or not pay. Is that yeah. set up? Okay, I was curious. It seems like it's like the light bill. You got to pay it any time. Mean, it's, it's a set up bill. Right. Okay, so next on the agenda, Corey had sent us the Atchison County EMS monthly commission uh, report for July of 2024. Do I have a motion to um, approve and file? Receive and file. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Since we got plenty of time, just a little bit of an aside. We signed those abatements earlier. I, I guess that's what you said. Yes. Did you notice the large amounts on 
those that was an exceptional i know sometimes we sign but uh there's some very large which takes away from our tax base so that's going to affect taxes for 2025 so um, i had visited with michelle and uh the appraiser last week a little bit about it but i mean it's it's standard you know it's not anything we have a choice in but um a lot of times it's a boat and it makes or something like that when you sign it and it's six hundred dollars or either way and this when it's mm -hmm. hundred thousand plus you know it that makes you do a double take so I, I i just want to make sure you guys were aware of that of that so okay okay um Next uh, is ARPA update, which we've had on there um, on a on a weekly basis. Just to, uh, I I have something if you okay. So uh, after uh, some of the invoices came in for items that you've already um, approved, such as some of those converged ones for IT, the CPR machines, um, the ambulance, those kind of things. After paying those and some other forecasted items, which we can always go through again, we're down to $279,900 left of unallocated. <clears throat> and some of that might change. Um, we I had a placeholder in uh, the AC compressor and a new AC unit. You guys have not approved that to come out of ARPA. You just kind of Folder, so I'll just put it in there. So if you take those out, which I'm, I'm sure you want to go ahead, but that's about 500000 if you take those out. Would you mind sending us the updated spreadsheet? Yep. Just so we can look at what's included and yep. what's not. I should do that right now. Um, It's on its way. Um, so when you open it up, it's the yellow tab. The very first tab will have everything in it. Um, there, there are other tabs, but that's just more for tracking um, other totals. So like there's a road and bridge, 666058. That's how much we allocated a road and bridge. So out of that, how much has he spent down? out of a 668058. So but that yellow tab is what the forecasted totals will be in there. And the graphic panel came in that much less. It's it's paid in full or it's not? It's not paid in full. We have only paid the first installment. Okay. We still owe that so 80. it will be that difference. Yeah. Okay. I've not heard anything from courts about renovations. I don't know how that's going. Did we get word back that this survey got was completed? Did you hear? I didn't hear that it was completed. I got word back that they had everything they needed except LIDAR data, uh, but the LIDAR data wasn't to complete the whole project, but they didn't need the LIDAR to do the, uh, the survey for the legal description. Okay. And I hadn't heard that it was completed. Okay. I saw they were working last week on that. That's last, what they were there's... scheduled to complete it last week. I, I saw them out there. So, okay, good. Um, that would have probably been Thursday when I saw them. So then once we have that, Thursday, we should be ready to close. Yeah, okay. That's all we need. And you'll set that up with, will O'Keefe Wilson come here during a meeting and we do it or? How does that work? I've never, I mean, we've never done this with a as a commission. 
I mean, I. Uh, we've always just signed the things here and taken them. Okay. There. And then they'll take them to the city and have the city sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because we've already voted on it in the public meeting and it's been. The, the only other closing that I can remember that we did were selling those two vacant lots, though. So I don't know if they'll want something more formal than that. Or okay. Not. Okay. So we should be ready to get that done. Closing over the buyer. When's the last time that happened? What's that? When's the last time we had closing over the buyer? Yeah. I, yeah. When we bought the county lake or what happened. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you guys talked about it last Monday or not with the IT director, but there was a placeholder of that 66825 uh, for IT projects from the TS Connor bid opening. I don't know, was that moving forward? Or no. Was, that's it's not so that can be removed that's, so if that's removed keeping the the jails ac unit you're about three hundred forty six thousand eight hundred dollars or unallocated you going to revise the number on the ac unit based on the estimate today i can do that at least it'll be closer Which I need to visit with. Um, there was a contract that, that Design Mechanical had sent me, but it's a contract with not the county and Design Mechanical. It's a contract with KU and Design Mechanical. We cannot, that will not satisfy the ARPA request. It oh. has to be between Atchison County and Design Mechanical. So right. something else will have to be developed. They need to modify that. Yeah. If, you guys go down that road. So I mean, I don't know if that sixteen thousand AC compressor. I I don't know if that's an accurate number. Because when Jack was here, I just don't we haven't paid that yet, have we? No. We're going to pay for an AC unit that we're not going to. Well, for the compressor, yeah, you know, it's working I mean, right now. But that's the whole thing. Had to have it. Yeah, so now we're going to have to. So now, with using the the number that we were getting in the packet today for the AC unit, what's left in ORPA is about three hundred sixty-five thousand three hundred dollars. But the, some of these things on this list are going to have to get wrapped up pretty soon. Um, the sheriff has outfitting two patrol cars. I don't know how long that takes, but it needs to get going. Is that included? It is. Okay. 33,134. Because he estimated it to be 16,567 each. Um. Mark, have you considered maybe on your spreadsheet at this time to maybe create a third category of our expenses under contract? So maybe as some of those things you can pin down a contract on them, you can actually show them, be like counting the yeah. expense items, so to speak. That might make it easier mm -hmm. to separate this stuff. Yeah, maybe that. Like maybe the sheriff's cars, maybe that's one of those where at least you can get a number. Mm -hmm. And then everything above that forecasted is what has been physically made. The GIS printer upgrade, we've already paid for that, haven't we? No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Screwed it. Yeah. We approved, approved the purchase order up to that amount. Um, the appraiser was going to uh, get that done.
all the IT things in here have been uh, either on order or completed. We're just waiting for the invoice to come in. So oh, yeah, not waiting for anything on IT related. Like there's a $6,700 item in there, but we're just waiting for the invoice. Yeah, same with the EMS stuff. Yeah, so, just yeah. waiting for the invoice to come in. So yeah, several of these are going to drop off yeah. probably the next week or yeah. 10 days. I would guess. Okay. And so I know we're dwindling down both on time and money. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to reiterate that I I am still in favor. I think once if we can close on that property, what's your anticipated time frame, Pat? Have you checked with O'Keefe as far as like if survey is done, that's the only thing we're waiting on. Can we get it done yet this month or September? I'm just because I'm just once kidding. we own the property, then he can go out and start having. I don't see for... why, if it is done, I don't see why it couldn't be done this. The only reason it couldn't be done this month is when does the city meet? They meet on the first and first third, and third Monday. Monday. Which they just met. So, this yesterday. Yeah. So, and then I don't know what they're doing September 2nd. The day after Labor Day, probably. So, so they should have the third. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think you could have, have it done within a week after their next meeting. Okay. If, if the survey is complete, I don't know that. Roger might have an update on that. I don't know. I could ask him. I don't know how much time it takes after they do the on-site part, but years yeah, ago it took longer, but now with the digital stuff, it's pretty quick. Exactly. Yeah. Because I'm just like, I'm utilizing the, the master plan opinion of probable costs to deduct grading, sewer, water, underground, electric, and fencing. And that brings us down to like, 99,000. So I just, I think this is our time to get ourselves set up for the future. Um, and I'm still in favor of all those things. So I, I just wanted to voice that while we're having the conversation and being mindful of no, time. I think it's a good use of our money really because it's a one-time expense and it's, it's it done. Sets it's it done. up yeah. for then when the building part comes, we can have all of the... Well, we haven't even decided how we're going to fund that. So I would not be in favor of breaking ground on a facility when you have no financing set up for it. So breaking ground versus grading out a flat surface that you can stockpile your pipe, stockpile your rock, park your... Yeah, you can stockpile awesome. those things, uh, tubes, whatever. When, when the crops are out, stockpile them away. You don't need it graded for that. Well, but the in order to develop the plan for the actual facility, depending on the lay of the land, when you start grading, things might have to be, the plan might change, right? And you don't know that until you get in there and get well, it we, graded. Because they, they got to alter the tile work. So that makes a difference. You yeah. Know? You know, it may not be that big a deal. It may be a big deal. I mean, but we don't even know for sure what we would build or how big a building we would build because we don't have the financing. What, what are we going to be able to afford? Or are we going to have to pass a bond issue? Or are we going to have? To? There's not going to be a bond issue. So, it's and it's just, well, it's, but it's just like building. So what, you're going to just put it on property tax? No. Where, where's this money coming from? First of all, it's, it's you do progressive development. You don't have to do everything in one day or one year. And you're going to have money available from senior village funds. And you're going to have potentially even some grants or things out in the state. You don't know. So I think it's a matter of doing one step at a time. Well, Once see, you've got your main building done and you've got your storage there, as far as the, uh, I call them the lean-tos, the equipment sheds and all that, they can be elective over time. And, well, so on I the can, packet you know, that Casey sent out about all that no expenses, it was a seven and a half, seven point six billion dollar facility that, that was we were going to build. And that we, you and I were going to spend all of the cash down from the county to build it. There was no... Um, thing saying that we were going to build a cheaper building or we were going to parcel it out in, in different areas. Right. It was that that's that's the thing, because we know that those figures are correct. She's had them checked. And so now, well, that that's exactly what you put out. It's right here. You're right. It's the it's that problem. that's the plan. And this so the opinion what, probable cause the information that we have to base our, okay, our so, decisions on. So as of now, I'm, I'm basing the numbers of grading. I was talking. Water. I was talking. And you, the, you put these figures out, and that is the facility we're building. And we're not, there's no plan for 
what, at what stages we're going to build what, so how are we going to finance it? None of these issues have been addressed. Your plan did not address them. And now you're going to break ground. We may It might be three or four years before we build anything, and we're going to have a sunflower patch in the middle of a well-fenced area. I I can't see where this is a smart a smart way to go. You don't pour a basement for a house. You don't have funding. Well, when you build a house, you get your grading done to know the the type of house you can put on the land that. So, you how have. big a facility are we going to build? Are we going to build We're the full not. building? Are we going to cut it down the 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 bay down uh, to cheapen it up? So we haven't had those discussions yet. Exactly, because, and that's what I'm saying. We don't know the size of building where you're going to be grading the pad for. You're going to be grading a lot. Oh, it's you're going to be grading, it's you're going to be putting up a your your pad for your building and everything. We're not to the pad stage. We're just grading the area so that you can fence it off. And, and sunflower spray. Okay, well, I'm, you know, I we don't. We've got a noxious weed uh, a uh, group in our county, we probably take care of that. Well, and I guess to my point on the ARPA discussion, we have a timeline and an amount of money. So I just wanted to make sure that I believe that the grading, the sewer, the water, the underground electric, and the fencing should come out of our allotted 365 we have left. And just to make sure, because each week we have new things and the air conditioner today and, and different things mm -hmm. that we're talking about, I just want to make sure that you know, even if you put it in here, like we did with some of the things, like we haven't paid for the graphic panel all the way, but if we could agree or get to a point where we're forecasting these as our expenses that we don't spend and then not have room to do these. Cause I, th I really think it, it's smart to get your utilities and your grading and get it fenced in. And then, and then absolutely sit down and start talking about what the building looks like, what the numbers are, where we pay for it from. I do I agree. I agree with that approach. I do think we got ahead of ourselves on, on the numbers because that engineer's estimate, I mean, I respect what they did, but they've covered themselves on this. They, that's a high estimate. I agree um, with that. that it, I've had a chance to talk to a couple of folks who know a lot more about that than I did, and we can build for a whole lot less. And to your point, yeah, well, maybe we cut it off a bay of it and we can take a bay off, but we make it work and be added on later if you want. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of ways of looking at it, but we can definitely, uh, just the interior finishes alone can make a big difference. Right. So I think the bigger conversation now is get the site prepped, get your utilities in, you know, you're ready, now you're, you're, everything's ready, you get everything on site you can, and then you can put your building out, get your fuel dump there, get you, you start storing a lot of things there. So I think I think there's a lot that you said that I definitely need to renegotiate our building. That's where local contractors come in. I think it would be great work and local. probably end up getting a, a Right, just as good a building with less money, but maybe some different choices in materials. There's a lot of problems in all of that because we don't have any of those estimates. It's a guess. Well, it's, we need... it's a total guess of this economy. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's just been inflation. And that's exactly terms. what these guys are doing is guessing. They're giving us an opinion of cost and covering their selves too, right? Of like, I don't want to give you a low number and then it come in higher and you're like, oh. Well, there's two things we do know. One is the existing facility is in, but it's out of its life, and it needs so much repair or enhancements to even just meet what we should be doing for our employees, let alone the public and our equipment. So inevitably, we have to do something. <coughs> the other thing we know is that number is going to be accurate for building. We don't build it for another 10 years. I guarantee it's going to be that much. So doing nothing doesn't fix anything, but being too brash and too quick is probably the wrong thing. So I think... Where I'm landing is get the site ready, do what we've done, we can get done, and let us have a serious conversation and um and decide what building we can afford. And not and hopefully not have to uh, make it a property tax burden. The thing is, this is being done without property tax, it's hard for money. We know though it's still our money, it's still tax dollars, but it's what was given to us to do something with. So it's a chance to get a head start on something without property tax. Well, and that's kind of I mean. I'm data driven in in my thought process. So if we can set the set the site up for the future, and then come up with a plan working with local contractors of how we achieve what we need to achieve. I mean, just on these high numbers, you can look across some of it, like new condition shop construction. 
it matches what our proceeds are. Like we can get things done from Senior Village, meaning capital, yeah. sell capital, you know, putting it back in. I, I'm I'm very optimistic that we can achieve it. It's just we got to think it through, take our time, and ensure that we're working with with local contractors to achieve it at an affordable cost. That and we can all be proud of it. Everybody in this county can be proud of it. It just, this will set us up to determine what the site looks like, yeah. where the buildings go, where the, you know, because even just from this preliminary, what they brought the first time, then we tweaked it based on, okay, well, if I bring my trucks in this way, you know, once you have the actual site and you go out there, you might change that again. You just, yeah. it's, it goes in, in process of. Well, like the uh, equipment storage buildings, I mean. We've had that conversation. I mean, they've designed some really, really high quality metal buildings with steel girders and all this. And you can you can do quite well with uh, some of the laminated beams and with poles and and not getting quite so complex. So um, I know Joe and I felt like you could probably build both of those for half what they've got on there. So things like that. But we got to give our our employees ways to work efficiently in an equality environment where they can actually look forward to coming to work and the public can see more efficiencies like with rock storage on site, being able to load out the night before and get it the next morning, probably get more roads done in a more efficient way. I think there's a lot of efficiencies for this too. So the grading, the sewer, the water, the underground electric, and the fencing, based on our opinion of probable cause that we got from BG, is two hundred and sixty-five thousand five hundred. Are we willing to pencil that in to utilize ARPA? I know the timeline. We have to own the ground before Joe can do all the the bids for those those things. But are we willing to put that in as a line item so that we know that it's going to be paid for from ARPA? And surveying is already in there, right? It's already in here. Mm, maybe, think, yeah, surveying costs 11694 I'm a no. Okay. I'm okay putting it in there as a placeholder right now until we know more. because we'll, we'll know a lot more in the next couple of weeks as far as it directs. I think so, too. And I think without a placeholder, I don't want it to get lost, I guess. I don't want it to get forgotten. Will you say that number one more time, please? 26255? Five. Yes. And that was just using this opinion of probable cause for grading, sewer, water, underground electrical, and fencing. So here we go. Uh, page 32. You didn't have the gravel in there. I know because he talked about well, and we, I mean, we don't have the, I think he was going to negotiate some of that. Yeah, not that we would need all of it all at once. That's what you talked about. It's maybe not doing as much because we wouldn't have to do it. Okay, so we've got to use some water erosion control and replace it all graded. We have to regrade it again. So we've got to make sure that well, there be plenty of weeds. If you want to, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could just we could say the 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 balance. remaining. I would be do the balance because you may want to put your initial rock down and at least over the I'd, soil. I'd be good with that. I just be put the balance. The balance. On. So that's that that It's fine. Okay. And we know it's going to change a little bit based on how these other things all come in. Okay, so we did with ARPA update at that point. Um, we have, I haven't had a chance to look at these expenses. I'll look at them and then pass them over and we can do that part. If, do we have any unfinished business? When does the share oh, come in? Uh, 11.30. Oh, okay. You have, sorry, do you have unfinished business? Well, I don't know if it's already unfinished. I don't, maybe, I don't know. Um, Half, 
I got another thing from City of Ashton. For August mowing. I didn't know. Which one you said? It's that 617 Park Street again. For this Six, one. 619? Yeah, 619. This one that was the July one. Not the same voice. No, it's a different one. It, uh, because it says the man. How did we budget? This one was July. How did the we one budget the rest is that coming out of EMS in the future? They, yeah, they merged it into the, this whole department. So they, they've tried to fold it all together. So it's uh, it's hard to follow in your budget sheets because it's going to be... Yeah, that was the well, because that's what I was just wondering if it was coded correctly because they have it coming out of emergency management. Well, we changed for next year's budget. So this year's budget oh, this year. Still, is, you know, okay. No, nope, thank you for that. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm still on what happened, you know? Yeah, and you so, go from... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nope, that's... I, a, so it's going to be close. I've done that until many, many next year. Next year too, because we tried to do comps from the previous year. So okay, thank you. I yeah. Mark, how are we doing on the senior village transition with all the different payments and things like that? And well, so there's not a lot of payments coming in, um, because a lot of them are. Private pay. So our billing company doesn't bill private pay, they just bill for the insurance companies. So it would be on our responsibility to get the private pays billed. Um, they have continually still actively billed the insurance companies for those back ones, um, but it's just not getting payment. Are we, are we ready to go to the next step? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've asked for the aging report. As soon as we get that, I'm going to give it to Pat um, so that we know who to move forward on. Yeah, that's pretty much up the next step. Okay. It'd be nice to move on that even the next meeting or two so we can get uh, I'll I'll try to. So much as possible wrapped up for the end of the year, but we know where we're headed. Did we ever talk about the meeting on the R and R meeting and the budget meeting for September third? Were we starting at what time were we starting that? Four, four thirty. I thought I put on my calendar. Mm -hmm. That's what I have. Yes. So, are we coming in that day at regular time and waiting till four thirty? No, we can. <laughs> that was a quick no. No, no, no that's what I'm going. You go, go. I don't know if we discussed what that meeting's going to look like. No, but that's the day I want to have some relative die. So okay. Okay. So you know. okay. <laughs> oh boy. But I mean, what's that meeting? Are we going to start that portion of it four thirty? We're going to start our whole meeting at four thirty. Oh, we started at one last year. I feel like we yeah, started yeah. at one. Oh, I think you're right. We did stuff so before that. Yeah, I'm pretty positive we started at one. And then but, but if we don't have much on the agenda, maybe right. meet at two or two thirty. Try to adjust when our starting time is. Mm -hmm. See, I probably won't be here next week because of that meeting in Brown County. So you guys. May okay. wait till next week to set that meeting, or is that too late? Good set. <laughs> let's, let's, let's decide. Um, so the R and R hearing starts at four thirty. Well, yeah. Everything else is adjusted. And last year wasn't like so R and R. Nobody really had anything much right. there because they didn't right. really understand it. So we made the motion, we approved mm -hmm. it, and then budget. That's where the discussion yeah. happened of like, okay, what's mm -hmm. okay. Yes, oh. we'll do we'll do a roll call at that time too. I mean roll call for the votes as well. Um just a heads up and a reminder, they sent this <laughs> to us last year in our budget meeting, and I just had a gentleman ask me again this morning on understanding the revenues as well, so that we can have that discussion when we're talking about the budget hearing of just where the revenues come in and how they offset it. Um okay. 
Yeah, I think it's part of it. A good example is like when uh, the revenue come in from, say, EMS mm -hmm. actually goes to the general budget. Mm -hmm. and so it's it's nice. It don't offset any right. of these own budget. It, it, well, or, it offsets it indirectly. But yeah, but not are, right. But I now the sheriff his stays in his department, correct? Yeah. So I mean, it right. and each one is different. So if you can kind of have those two of your spots to do that. that. They'll have a resolution mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. right? Which I kind of I think I felt like. So, but what time should we start that day? You think? What does the agenda look like, Michelle, so far? For the twenty seventh. For the third. September third. Uh, the third. Um, that that's all I have. Just the R and R. The R and R and the budget hearing, um, and potentially our bid update. And nothing else on. So I think it. I don't care. I think it'd be nice to have the information of what we'll have that evening. Um, that way we can recap ourselves. Um, and predict any questions because we kind of I feel like we'll know exactly kind of where and what the questions are. Um, but just so because last year we didn't want to put anyone on the spot, right? So we took the feedback of like. I, it would be interesting to know what the revenues are, or, you know, and all those things, which I think we all have notes from last year of just kind of making sure that we were achieving their, you know, mm -hmm. the feedback we got last year, like trying to work toward, because last year was the first year we had a lot of people, which mm -hmm. was great. I mean, I think it was great. I'm not hearing much this year. Uh, the only thing I heard is when they would receive R&Rs, which they were mailed last week, right? So they would receive them this week. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that question. Other than that, yes. So we should we start? It? Ooh, I don't know. Unless there's a whole bunch added to the agenda, I think two would be fine. If there's a lot, then we get back it to one. But yeah, tentatively two. So you think it start the meeting on the third and two, and then at four thirty have the R and the budget hearing, and then this the beginning. Um, just that line. Well, I guess people have time to still get home for dinner or whatever they got to do or something. Yeah, it's late enough. The hearing is that people can still get there. So mm -hmm. that's kind of that balance you're trying to strike, I guess. So two. There won't be a workshop, correct? That day, which we'll is started to with regular business. Yeah. Um, you were talking about that R and R hearing date. Mm -hmm. so they're starting our meeting at two, the no workshop, and then having the R and R at four thirty. And then we'll be out there by six o'clock. So, I say there's is there much on the agenda other than that? No, that as of right now, that's plenty of time. Approving yeah. minutes from the week before, um, yeah. and then our update. Yeah. Yeah, what about have, doing should we have a 30 minute workshop maybe you just yes yeah, in case somebody has questions what about an hour workshop right? yeah. i don't think that's still going to be three right. that's going to be an hour and a half i know a regular meeting time but we may not need it's right for labor day it's going to be as i bet it's a slow agenda mm -hmm. I that i'd be okay with two to three workshop and then three o'clock okay meeting yeah 
I think that I think that's gonna be loads of time. I don't believe so. I don't know you made an executive session on something that's under pop up. Um, okay, so we also have in this in my folder today that we got a letter from the city of Atchison on N Street. Um, dear Board of County Commissioners, the Atchison Land Bank intends to sell the following properties, and then they give the properties um, legal descriptions. 2024 County Appraiser property valuation $2,450. The property is zoned R1 single family. The property is adjacent to your property at N at N6 North 6th Street. Um, quick reference R1092. Um, so they are notifying us of that. Maybe the new owner wants to buy it North 6th Street. I don't know what's her name, is her it's just North 6th Street with a quick ref, which Pat's looking up. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say too much, but I know we're sufficiently bought up over there. And we may want to sell ours too. Well, we had already Same asked the. Too. Yes, sir. We already asked the. Um, the city land bank if they would be interested in them so but that was with amy and we never really got well and there's somebody else's boss stuff yeah and so i think that would be really good to look yeah. at because that would be one of them that didn't sell at our tax sale right well is that way by see your village mostly well fine. i don't know why they wouldn't have put senior village's address though well, across the street there, which we kind of store society and stuff. There's someone by there, maybe. Work up. Is it working? Well, it's been working on years, but I work on mine. Yeah. Maybe it's just sort of keeping on the map for. <laughs> well, I switched to Google Chrome because it's sometimes faster, but it doesn't seem to be any faster. Larger databases appear to be quicker. Scanning the floor for yourself would be like at least that into something that for this is being more slow. I'm really curious what it is. The college has purchased several things up there at Unity and Six. They bought the old school and land north of that. We can go down on the west side of that. So I think that parcel sitting there is empty. Yeah. 
Michelle, in fact, who are those forms with the initial of the uh, appraiser? Those modifications. Oh, that's that should be in the blue folder. Yeah, I was just going to back through those again. If you don't mind. The um, in here. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll move it to you. Sorry, <laughs> I was space not. That's what I was referencing earlier. The, the, the change orders to AAEs. It's probably one of the second screen, I'm guessing. A whole bunch. Yeah. Are you looking for a specific one? Yeah, but there's yes, it was, it was, there's a bunch of yeah of high dollar ones in there. Yeah. So that's why it says uh, this is the cost for that. I'm not sure if see how it looks. Wonder. So when I asked the appraiser about yeah, that, she thought that they had actually uh, went to voted for yeah. and were turned down, but they probably didn't have something yeah. correct and like in the non profits. Yeah. And so, uh, okay, so that's that's that seems kind of late. Okay. That's I'm sure that that's that's been already. That's what I'm saying. Why not? That's the past two years. Okay, you're 21, 22, 23, FY. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it is. Okay. So those are the doctors. You have to get it. Here's the house. This is what it's like. Looks like that. Yes. Sometimes you have to decipher this stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, that, so these three are land. I think they cost the whole land. That's in those blocks of old edges. That's good. Well, you're pretty one to get me if I get to that. Okay. Instead of just going to grab his own office. But the hospital does now. You know, we can access the street. This is yeah. This is yeah, Thursday. Oh, well, three twenty. No. So, yeah. This, you want these yeah. kept separate? No. I'm just, okay. I'm just these two are extra grand, so 
So he's a, he's a lot right there. So that's three different no, parcels right like next to no, them. Right, that's the yeah. bottom. They go my car. Yes, it's so two, three, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So these two. The park of the back. Mm -hmm. So we'll try the commercials. Oh, and the county card. Seven of five commercial. So Hartman's part owner of that. So that's that part of the hospital building. Same thing. That boat is mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep it here? Or are you going to I thought it would be great. But this is next year. It's a bus conference, too. That's um, the county was uh, the top organization in the blood center. And we, 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 oh, wow. Oh, it's always nice. Yeah. I thought it looked nice on your guys. Oh, yes. For a little early, but everyone's here. If you want to do um, non elected personnel executive session, 30 minutes, commission HR, county attorney. Say commissioners, HR, HR. county attorney, 30 minutes. Show me. No, we don't have anything. Okay. Hey, I'll move the Board of County Commissioners recess in executive session at 11.27 to discuss personnel matters of non-elected personnel as allowed by KSA 75-4319B1 and that the purpose of the closed session is to protect the privacy rights of the employee and, the, and that the board come out of executive session in 30 minutes in the commission room of the courthouse basement and this present will be the three commissioners, HR and the county attorney. I'll second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Okay, we are back in open session um, and made our way down to county councilor updates. I don't have anything this week. Okay, uh, any need for an executive session? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the expenses from this week? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Um, so we have an hour and a minute left. Do we just want to adjourn into workshop and sit here for an hour, or is there anything else? I mean, we can just designate our chairman to be available for the next hour. I mean, I'm fine. I don't have anything. <laughs> I can stay. Sure, well, I, and I may leave. Yeah, you're not feeling really well. You I Instagram love that. You do. It's fine. Just, okay. I got some things to get here. Okay. All right. So I may uh, look for, oh, sorry, public comment. If there's any public comment, seeing none, I look for a motion uh, to adjourn. 11.59, and I will be here till 1. We'll turn the meeting. I turn the meeting. Yes. I'm second. Okay, moving and second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 That's three to zero. I'd like to turn the recess or whatever workshop, but I don't know if you're still in the meeting. <laughs>